Hello and welcome to our training video on washing fresh produce, what to wash and how to wash it. My name is Laurie Keenan and I'm an advisor with NFLES Education, Training and Development. I am pleased to be joined today by Alex Goebel who is a dietetic intern and will be assisting me with this video presentation. This video was developed to help staff understand how to comply with the new NFS standard on washing fresh produce. Okay, let's get started. So Alex, can you explain what produce is and why it's important that we wash it properly? Sure, Lori. Produce is raw fruits and vegetables. In healthcare, we wash produce because it can carry bacteria that can cause foodborne illness, commonly known as food poisoning. And it's important to remember that patients who are sick are at a higher risk of food poisoning because their immune systems are weaker. Additionally, it is important to wash produce to remove dirt because everyone expects their food to be clean. No one wants to see dirt, bugs, or other contaminants. That's really good information, Alex, and something to think about even at home. So question, do we need to wash all fruits and vegetables or only the ones that look dirty? That's a really good question, Lori. All fresh produce needs to be washed, and this needs to be done before they're cut, peeled, combined with other ingredients, cooked, or served to patients. For example, produce with edible skin, such as apples, cucumbers, grapes, and strawberries, need to be washed before food service staff cut or serve them. If we don't do this, the bacteria that may be present on the skin of produce will be passed on to our customers and patients. Okay, so here may be a dumb question. I understand that we want to wash all fresh fruits and vegetables to prevent patients and customers from getting sick, but what if they're only eating the inside of the fruit or vegetable? Do we still need to wash them? There's no such thing as dumb questions, Lori. Yes, we need to wash produce with skins that won't be eaten, such as melons that are cut before service and bananas that can be served whole. Think about when you or the patient or customer goes to cut or peel these. The bacteria or other contamination that may be present on the skin can spread to the inside when the item is cut or peeled. So the answer is definitely yes. Wash all vegetables and fruits, even if the skin won't be eaten. That's good to know. All right, since you said there are no dumb questions, are there any rules about serving fresh produce? Like, can I wash apples on Monday, put them in the fridge, and serve them on Friday? No, ideally produce should be washed the same day as service. So if you are serving apples on Friday, it is best to wash the apples on Friday. Produce should be washed no more than one day in advance of service. So the earliest you could wash the apples is Thursday. Okay, so now that I know what to wash, I'm ready to learn how to properly wash produce. I'm sure I've been doing it wrong, but no judgment, right? Don't worry, Lori. It's easy. I like to separate the produce into two categories, the ones that need to be scrubbed with a brush and the ones that don't. Great idea. I'd like to know about scrub brushes. Can I use any old brush? No. At work, we must use a brush that is provided by NFS. Your supervisor or manager will provide the brushes you need. Brushes must be cleaned and sanitized before each use, including between different types of produce. Ensure you know the process for cleaning and sanitizing produce brushes at your site. Each site should have enough brushes for their production needs. Okay, a cleaned and sanitized brush it is. Okay, let's head over to the sink. Step one is to wash your hands at the hand washing sink following the proper hand washing procedures. Also make sure that you have a cleaned and sanitized produce brush ready to go. Let's start with produce that needs to be scrubbed with a brush. These include citrus fruits, melons, pineapples, root vegetables, and other firm vegetables such as field cucumbers. Okay, let's start with a lemon. Ha ha, very funny Alex, throwing in a plastic lemon to see if I was paying attention. <laughs> well, you can't blame a girl for trying. Okay, so here's an orange, which is a common citrus fruit. Other citrus fruits include lemons, real ones of course, limes, and mandarins. Take the orange and wash it under cool running water until any visible dirt or debris have been washed off. Use the brush to help remove any dirt or bacteria. If needed, a clean and sanitized colander or insert can be used to hold the washed oranges. It's important to remember, do not submerge or soak the produce. You do not need to use commercial soaps or washes. For melons such as cantaloupe, wash under cool running water until any visible dirt or debris have been washed off. 
Then use the brush to scrub the surface of the melon. This helps to remove any dirt or bacteria that could get into the melon when slicing it. Other melons include honeydew and watermelon. Similarly, give pineapples a good scrub with the brush. Also, make sure to give root vegetables, like potatoes, a really good scrub to remove all the visible dirt and debris. Oh, that's one dirty potato. It sure is. Other root vegetables include carrots, radishes, and turnips. Now, when washing firm vegetables, such as field cucumbers or squash, make sure not to puncture them, because this would allow bacteria to get in. Another thing to be aware of is that we don't have to dry produce unless the quality of the food will be affected by being wet. Next, be sure to store the washed produce separately from the unwashed produce. Let me show you how I do this in the refrigerator. This is the box of unwashed oranges, and separate from it, we have the container of washed oranges. And lastly, don't forget to wash your hands. Okay, let me see if I have this right. The five steps to washing produce are, number one, wash my hands. Number two, wash the produce under cool running water, scrubbing if needed, remember that potato, until any visible dirt and debris are gone. Number three, dry only if needed. Number four, store the washed produce separately from the unwashed produce. And number five, wash my hands again. You got it, Lori. So Alex, I've been thinking, what about foods that we can't scrub with a brush, like berries or broccoli? That's a fantastic question, Lori. There are quite a few foods that we don't need to scrub with a brush. They include small, soft and smooth fruits, as well as leafy, floral, stem, and smooth or soft vegetables. Okay, let's do another demonstration. Again, the first step is to wash our hands. Next, run the produce under cool running water until any visible dirt and debris are gone. For small fruits such as grapes, a clean and sanitized colander can be used. Other small fruits include cherries and berries. Similarly, large amounts of smooth fruits such as apples can be placed in a cleaned and sanitized colander or insert with holes. This can make for easier washing and ensure the produce is never placed directly in the sink. A pear is another example of a smooth fruit. Now, soft fruits such as bananas, kiwis, peaches, plums and mangoes are unlikely to have any visible dirt. As a result, quickly rinsing under cool running water is all that's needed. To wash leafy vegetables such as lettuce, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, spinach and kale, the best way would be to cut the stem off and rinse the leaves under running water. Make sure to really get in between the leaves to remove any dirt or bugs that could be hiding in there. A cleaned and sanitized colander or insert with holes can be used to hold the leaves. To wash floral vegetables such as broccoli, cauliflower and artichokes, rinse under running water until all visible dirt and debris have been removed. Stemmed vegetables such as celery, asparagus and fennel can be washed in the same way. Stalks can be pulled apart and rinsed individually. You can even rub stubborn dirt off with your finger. To wash smooth or soft vegetables such as tomatoes, avocados, bell peppers and English cucumbers, follow the same process. Alex, what if produce needs to be dried? If the produce needs to be dried, you can use a clean paper towel. If leafy greens are too wet, a salad spinner can be used. Great points, Alex. Next, I'm going to store the washed produce separate from the unwashed produce. And lastly, I cannot forget to wash my hands. So question, what about pre-washed bagged produce? Do they need to be washed before using them? No, if produce is pre-washed, it does not need to be washed again. The produce can be used right away for food preparation or service. Look for the words washed, pre-washed, triple washed, etc. on the label. Check with your supervisor or manager if you are unsure if a vegetable or fruit is pre-washed. I don't know about you, but I sure learned a lot today. Thank you everyone for joining Alex and I. We hope that after watching this video, you feel confident in washing all of your produce and know which ones to scrub and not scrub. Thanks for watching and may all your produce be clean. If you have any questions, talk to your supervisor or manager, and don't forget to follow the new washing fresh produce poster.